Hello fellow guitarists and welcome to the final lesson in our finger picking series. We've covered a bunch of different songs and a bunch of different techniques with our right hand without a pick. So now we're going to cover just the last one and that is how to pick without a pick. <laughs> so sometimes you'll be playing a song that has both finger picking and picking. So and you're not always going to have time to like reach into your pocket to grab a pick or something. So I'm going to show you a few ways where you can strum your guitar without using a pick. So one way is just to pretend you're holding a pick. You put your fingers just like this, as if there's a pick there, and you strum with the nails on either side. Another way is just using your thumb. This is the way that I like to use a lot. It's like you kind of just, you put your fingers tucked away and use just your thumb. It helps if you have a little thumbnail, but as you can see, I don't, so you don't need one. So you just kind of go like this. I'm just using the side of my thumb here. You're going to start to get a little bit of a callus right here. Take some time to build it up, but once you build it up, it's totally worth it, because it sounds just as good as using a pick. And you're also free to pull in some flamenco techniques like the rasquillado. So, check those two techniques out, and thanks a lot for checking out my finger picking technique series. And let's go on to the next one, which is going to be arpeggios with a pick. Hello fellow guitarists, Mike B here. Welcome to the first lesson on pick arpeggios. So sometimes using your pick to play arpeggios like this is a great sound, it's a great thing to do. So this series is going to be all focused on getting your picking arpeggios better. So the first song we're going to start off with is House of the Rising Sun by The Animals. So we're going to start off on an A minor, then we're going to play a C, and a D, then an F, then an A minor. So let's just do those first. We have A minor, C, D, F, A minor. Now what we're going to be doing is a little bit of a sweet pick here. You're going to start by playing an open A string, and then you're going to go, you're going to let your pick sweep from A to B, and then you're going to do upstrokes on E, B, G. So that's the exact same thing on the C chord. On the D chord, we just move our pick down into the D string, to the F chord, back to our A minor, and we're going to go to an E chord, so our pick goes down to the E string, back to A minor, to E. So that's the whole first section of this song. You're just sweeping up. It's really important though that when you're doing the sweep, notice that I'm not playing the high E string yet. I start and then I do the upstrokes on the high E. 